Hello, this is Saucy Freaky Free, and welcome to Mountain Blade episode 3, 4, maybe, I'm not entirely sure, it may be 5. Somewhere around that region, I didn't have a look. At the moment, we're just dealing with some bandits and so on. Uh, I have 20 against 24, so an easy victory. Really? Uh, especially because I'm getting to the point of higher level. Um, higher levels at the moment. Although my army sucks, to be honest. It's still mainly infantry and I'm going for the ca or cav kind of thing. And what also isn't helpful is that uh, spray deer, which I'm in, um, likes cavalry a lot, however, a lot of the land it has is hilly, which isn't helpful for cavalry, so you're just like, so you've perfected something which you're naturally not good at, so it's just like, do the benefits actually outweigh the, um, downsides, the risks, almost. Uh, for stuff like this, it doesn't really matter, but when you're fighting big, massive armies, you, you want your cavalry to be on a flat plain with no trees, so you can just run around them uh, and kill them, basically. But, oh well, you can't have everything, I guess. And that's one battle down. Capture. Yeah, this one's going to be a longer video than usual. Usual. The main reason is that, uh, as you could probably guess, I haven't actually uploaded in a while. And as you can see, I'm full of inventory. Yes. And this one, uh, big due to the nature of Mountain Blade, Blade Two, there isn't. Uh, I said Mountain Blade 2, didn't I? I meant Mountain Blade Warband. 2 isn't out. This is a series. Practice for it. Because it is going to come out. Not entirely sure when. It could be this year. I hope it is. But as long as it's not May. That is my only request. Not May. Uh, the reason why not May is uh, May, June during that area is because uh, that's when I'm hitting exams and so, so on, so I don't exactly want you to be then. But uh, knowing my luck, they w would be. And then I would just have to wait and buy it later on, which I don't want to do. But if I buy it, I won't revise. I'll be making videos on this, uh, on it, and yeah, so... Next battle. I tend to um, use my crossbow as kind of like a pot shot kind of thing. Just uh, fire from a mile away, and if I hit, oh wow, I hit. Then reload, try again, and then uh, by that time, it, I'm so close that it's a risk to use the. Uh, crossbow, so I just use the sword and shield tactic. As you could tell from the first episode, I don't like pole arms at all, so I especially can't get uh, grips with using a pole arm against foot soldiers. Uh, I ju I'm just bad at that. So another victory, pretty good I would say, no casualties, I'm still out of room, which is a bit annoying, and I was just checking um, what my current armour is, because of if their armour is better, I'm going to use their armour, as simple as. But now I actually head to a town, city, well they're all towns really um no they would be cities 
typically I think think it would be that the um that these what I'm in would become well actually the castles would later on also become cities because of they would would be uh defended easily yeah and one thing which I kind of want to see in a Mountain Blade game I uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be in Mountain Blade 2 is is um, multiple walls because that's what actually happened in the medieval era you built a wall people came to your city th then decided to farm out outside and overpopulation which meant people had to live outside the city city so then this uh, outside the walls and then the city would just go right time to build another wall that's how it went but you can't have everything mm, nothing's really there and I haven't played Mountain Blade in a while so I still sometimes press escape when I mean tab but oh well so onward to the next thing and let me just move my mouse a bit because I don't exactly want it going um black screened uh which can happen when I don't move my mouse for a while but oh well just basically at the mo moment uh running ar around a village is getting people and seeing if they have any tasks and hoping it's a nice one for some odd reason, um, the writing, even though it's supposed to be orange, is purple. I don't know. When I was recording, recording it, it was perfectly orange. But uh, now it's purple. I don't know. It's probably a downside for using... Um, uh, OBS to record, but oh well, I will have a proper thing again sometime, soon I hope at least, you, how do you have any, um, basically get someone to declare war, which, um, I'm not entirely sure if I should accept this quest because of my strength at the moment. But I accept it nonetheless because I want to actually see what my strength is. So, yeah. And I've never actually read all of the text on these missions. I still didn't. I just yeah, skim read. Um, so yeah, good stay again, so who do I have to, kingdom of there, what do you actually have, because of, I can't remember the kingdom names anymore, uh, so I just look at the cities and then look, look across, and just find which one, it's not there, not the yellows. Um, for some odd reason, I still couldn't. No, I could find it eventually. But I realised something going on here. Um, the Khajiit Khanet attacking some of the villagers. So I go to help. They have five more men than I do. So I thought, eh, it couldn't be that, that difficult because uh, it's only five men. It's only minus one advantage, so it can't be that bad. So, yeah, you can probably tell. I, I keep forgetting that because she kind of like their horses probably even more than Swadia does. And Swadia does obsessed with them, especially with the tournaments. Well, only Praven has a uh, horse obsessed um, tournaments. 
um, which is a bit annoying because whenever there's a tournament there, I want to get money, and I'm no good at pole arms, so I'm just oh, eh, I want I want this, but I can't actually get anything for it. So yeah, continuing the fight. So far, it looks like it's going eh, either way. Uh, I'm killing, my guys are killing some of them, they're killing some of me, um, but the problem is, um, they have more armor than, than my guys do, and all of their, their units are on horseback, only two of my, mine are on horseback, and they actually have archers that's the one downside to Sphradia, is if you want horses, you're fine, go ahead. But if you want missile, you can't go horses. Unless you capture or speak to villages, which actually upgrade, have an upgrade route to cavalry arches. But then the problem is, the cavalry doesn't go at the same pace. So you basically have the horse archers running ahead and the cavalry which you're going to use to defend the horse archers miles behind, which isn't too helpful. And I'm deaded. Yes, deaded. Well, unconscious, but oh well. Yeah, I had to run. And then... You say, uh, I don't li like um, this, that, and the other. Then I go, it won't happen again, sorry. And then they catch up with me, even though I, I have less uh, men. And I fight, because if I thought his complaint was me running away. Uh, evidently it wasn't. And it's two versus about 18, and all of them are on cavalry. And... Oh, well, all of them are cavalry, and I have no HP, pretty much. So, yeah, I have to kill them as fast as possible. And my other guy has to survive as long as possible. And I do this awesome turn, but, yeah, not awesome enough. And, yeah, I got taken prisoner, and... At this point, I was just hoping, please still have my inventory and my money. Please still have the inventory and the money. Which, um, you'll see what happens eventually. I es manage es to escape, and I have all of it. All of it. And maybe a uh, less money than I had, but... A grand is still quite nice, especially because I don't actually have anyone to pay. Although I now need to get a ton more villagers. Which is annoying, especially when I'm only getting one per village. Ooh, seven. That's lovely. And at this point, I, I'm just like, oh, my my allies are fighting someone and they're going to lose. I'm going to run for it rather than actually help and fight. Mainly because if I did go and help and fight, all of my villages would die again. And then I would have to ru run round again getting one villager per village. Which isn't... Which actually in to total would probably get me about 40. But, takes a lot of time, but actually having um, some of the companions in um, taverns is quite nice, because they're a hundred, and they're permanent. Although the problem is, when you've got 900 and you need to get an army, how, spending 100 for one person who you have to train up and takes longer to train up is a bit of a do the benefits outweigh the negatives that kind of thing and again no villagers uh, 
And I also look to see if they actually have any quests. Because if it's the training one, I'm just like, right, time to train you. And then I get free money, almost. Which is always useful. Free money is good money. Um, but, yeah, basically just running about, getting villages, one at a time. <laughs> and then, then asking the, the village chief or, no, it's village elder, um, if they have a task. Which, typically, at the moment, is a no-go. Yeah, no, they don't. Which is... Highly annoying, but oh well, nothing I can do at the moment. And I will just add that at some point in the near to distant future, I will actually get XCOM 2. I don't know when this near to distant future will be, and I make a huge mistake of only using the boat. I completely forgot I had a uh, dagger, and I was just trying to run for it, and then I realised, hang on a second, I have a dagger, but I had already taken so much damage, it became unbearable, and then I get knocked out, I was in two seconds, so that was a poor showing by me, and he has, um, a right to laugh, so I go at it again, and I have his sword and the shield, so I'm just like, it's victory, I can kill people, well, knock people out. But I'm pretty sure with these kind of swords, they they wouldn't knock out, they would kill. Especially where you're hitting them and they they don't have any armor because you're hitting them in the ribs. And a sword, sword like that, if it can knock someone unconscious from hitting someone in the ribs, it's going to do a lot more damage to the ribs rather than your uh, consciousness. Yes. I think that's the right one. Uh, but oh well. If I use it wrong, you probably got what I meant. Although I could just simply say it by how awake you are, but oh well. Okay. I have no idea why I had the shield up. I can just run forward, spout a fire, run to the side. Unfortunately, that was that one didn't exactly work the right way, and I'm and I'm now at half health, and he just gets I think two hits off for free. So a bad show by me so far. Good, and oh. Bother. Not good, not good at all. Good. Right, where's the next dude? Over there! Attack! Oh dear. Oh dear, not good. Not good at all. I'm against another person with a sword and shield. Uh, my shield's now deaded. Yeah, uh, the reason why I'm saying deaded now, now is basically Twitch. Twitch is getting to the point of a uh, cancerous of cancer uh, of the internet. Uh, especially the comments. Of some, uh, channels. Some, they're perfectly fine, like Krill 18's Twitch streams are actually quite pleasant to read the things, but the, uh, LCS, uh, the League of Legends uh, streams, just don't, don't, just don't look at the comments. Especially because they're unmoderated, which also doesn't help the whole process of the sanity of it all. So, ooh, that's a pretty good one. There's only eight of them. Surrender or die? They chose to die. And flat plain, this is what I'm talking about. It doesn't ma matter about small hills, they don't make a difference. But the mountains up there, they would make a difference. And two complete misses, but oh well. 
I try to go for a third one which requires changing angle and then I completely miss an attack but I get my revenge by killing someone in one swipe and again see it it is getting to the point where I'm doing a ton of damage especially against um, these kind of low levels so I I could just attack them by myself and now I'm level 7 and yeah all of them are either dead or unconscious um, and then I hire a farmer and a peasant woman um, so yeah the, the peasant women actually upgrade into sword sisters which are quite good but the problem is getting from that level of quite good to that and i'm just uh, is takes a long time as you could probably guess and with that i was just like yeah i don't want to do that so i just because of it was 44 against 8 and i only had 15 I probably could have won, but I didn't want to risk getting captured again and having to start all over again. But oh well. Um, so yeah, time to just fight some blokes. And with this one I can actually say blokes because they're all blokes. If, it, if I was fighting a farm uh, or village, I couldn't exactly, but then again, who really care? cares about it for me typically I just go blokes but then again I have a lot more guy friends than uh, friends who happen to be girls but oh well why am I going into this I diverge so much but oh well it, it's probably because because as you can see I'm just running around slashing um, some guy's head in. Well, more chopping some guy's head off. There's a slight difference. Very important. Important. Different. But oh well. Oh, we won. I had no idea why I was continually going straight. Oh yeah, I remember. It was because I've now got a alarm thing to go off in her um whenever and it's not on the computer and it just stuck so I had to move it but oh well uh, they got lost so time to go back to there and sell stuff and hope I have some other things to do ah <sighs> selling and then I just have a look to see if uh, any of the things are upgrades they weren't but oh well and that's that and so now I level up I go for strength because at this point in time um, what I'm facing is actually health issues rather than anything else no idea why I upgraded archery because I don't need archery but oh well um so deserters they're upgraded i'm not so you'll see uh hey bog uh because you can't see uh, i stop here just to see if i could actually see them and then I almost lost sight of my guys. And then I'm just like, where are they? Ah, there they are. But oh well. I get a few shots, but I don't do any damage because they actually have quite big shields. And then I decide to, uh, to send myself in wasn't the best idea because it meant uh, my ho horse took quite a bit of damage 
but I am leveling up my one-handed proficiency, which is good. I must say is good. Um, so yeah, continually hacking and chopping and slashing, but oh well. So far I haven't done any jabs. Right. Good. Continual. Slashing, hacking and missing. Unfortunately, as you can tell, all of my guys are either dead or unconscious. Not exactly helpful. But oh well. Easy victory nonetheless. So, next what? Ooh. Ten kills. That's, that's annoying. Very annoying, especially because I've got none left now, apart from one farmer and one peasant woman who I just got. And I actually get to upgrade my helmet now. Okay, another campaign thing, but I can't do anything about that because I have no men. It was even difficult just doing that. And then I sell some stuff as is, is per usual. That pretty much whenever I'm in this town. I'm either looking for um, a companion. Or I'm looking for a quest. Or um, tournaments. That's my only reason for it. Uh, well, there is actually... I can purchase uh, industrial enterprises, but I can't at the moment because I don't have enough money. So yeah, it's one of those things where you can do this, but you can't in reality. So it's almost pointless you try. So yes, and then I look for something, uh, probably where to actually go. Oh yeah, it was a bandit uh, thing for ransom. Oh no, um, that's a different thing. What I was doing now was actually having a, a look to see if I could find uh, the uh, allies. Uh, the marshal to see if I could do anything. Couldn't. Uh, well, actually, I didn't. I eventually didn't try because of I still have five left. Five men only. But I then go, hang on a second. Well, I think I may have like ten now. But I can do sparring practices and four. And you can see what I picked. I picked them um, again and again and again, mainly because these are the ones which I actually want upgraded. And there is actually a use to, to this besides from upgrading your men, is you actually get better yourself at fighting more than one opponent. Because fighting against one, all you have to do is... is um, Wait until they're no longer blocking because of they've gotten bored, and then you smash their head in. Um, but with this, when there's so many, you can't do that. You just kind of have to def defend for a while, hit for a while, defend for a while, take some hell, some hits, and yeah, and kill. Well, knock people out is with the tra training thing but is and it's getting to the point where I've almost leveled up some people and sometimes you do get the unfortunate thing where you go for the timing but one person just goes you know what I'm going to attack and you you just block so you're just like yo so you get ready for one thing, but 
the other happens and then you then you just look like an idiot really but oh well so I can upgrade people now but I decide to stick at it for one more go mainly because it's fast and there's no real harm in uh, doing it all you really get is better uh, better men or women in this particular case <laughs> and you actually get better uh, because you actually have to practice it and because of what you choose uh, what weapon you have is uh, uh, independent of choice you could be fighting with en anything so you actually get better at fighting with anything so yeah um now it's time to level up i actually look at the skill points first this time because i wasn't sure what to really do do um looting is a pretty good thing and so is tracking and so on but uh I do need to get some more inventory management eventually, but not sure when that will be. The thing is, charisma is only really good when you've maxed leadership and so, so on, but I haven't got anywhere near that. I think in terms of ranking, it I think it for me personally it goes intelligence, strength, um. Uh, well, the thing is, charisma and agility are pretty much pointless unless you were going for uh, a foot infant inf infantry guy. But I'm not, so it doesn't really matter too much about my own stamina. It matters about the horse which I have. Okay, if my horse dies, then it is a big important thing to have stamina. Stamina, but if I'm if my horse is fast enough and I'm fast enough with the ta tag, then it doesn't ma matter about me because I just run around them and then kill them and attack them. So yes, so far we're um, half an hour into the vi video and we're how long actually is it? Oh bother. It's an hour. Oh well. Well actually, when it gets to the point where I can actually end the video, I probably will end the video, which is actually, oddly enough, here.